ABC 13 Eyewitness News at 4. This is a fun one. In today's Hometown Live, a pop-up art exhibit with the distinct taste of New Orleans here in Houston, and it's so popular, it's been extended. Yeah, it showcases the art of George Rodriguez, an artist from Louisiana, and shows off his blue dog paintings. Eyewitness News anchor Natasha Baird got to check it out. She joins us live. Natasha? Hey, guys. Well, the artist did pass away just a couple years ago, but his family now sharing George Rodriguez's legacy right here in Houston. It's filled with rich history, and his fans include some famous faces, too. Uh, but this one was really special. Behind every stroke, every color is a story. Because he painted Louisiana like no one else had painted Louisiana before. You probably recognize George Rodriguez's paintings by his famous blue dog, which brought him worldwide fame in the early 1990s. The blue dog was brought to life from Rodriguez's own dog, Tiffany. The whole point of this section is to show where the blue dog comes from. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just invented overnight, there was 25 years of work. The blue dog became a symbol showcasing current events. Rodrigue painted this the night of 9 11, portraying the sadness of a nation. And the thing I love about it is that he takes the blue dog and he puts whatever's happening in the world. Houston art teachers brought their children to the exhibit on West Avenue at River Oaks. We wanted to kind of bring it all together by visiting. Stricken with polio as a child in the 50s, Rodrigue spent three months bedridden. It was then an artist was born. And he started to paint on this paint by number set. And he told his parents that he was going to be an artist. Huh. And I wonder what they said. Sure, honey. Yeah, they, you know, it's like saying you wanted to be an astronaut. Or that inspiration caught the attention of President George H.W. Bush. At the president's request, Rodrigue painted this family portrait when Bush's grandkids were young. It must feel so good to be surrounded with your father's artwork yeah. and to have these memories. Of course, it's, um, you know, every anytime we walk into a space like this or my home, my office, it's surrounded by his art and you can feel, feel his presence, you feel his brush strokes. And so much fun visiting with him today. Another neat tidbit, and we were talking about this, guys. Rodrigue's painting sold for $50 at first. Now I want to ask you guys, what do you think the most his painting went in his entire career? Oh, the most. The most. First painting, fifty dollars. Uh, I'm going to go twenty thousand dollars, Eric. I was going to say around, you know, five or ten for one of those in there, but I guess I'm grossly wrong. Two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, everybody. And the exhibit mm. is free and runs into the nineteenth of this month, so go see it. Well, they are right. so iconic, though. I mean, you recognize them the second. I didn't really, I, had, I hadn't known the story behind them, so it's really neat to be able to see that. It was a lot of fun today. Yeah, cool. All right, Natasha, thanks a lot.